One of the things that I really struggle with from time to time is being confined to the space of the studio and having so much stuff. I think it's kind of just a side effect of being a studio person is that you're gonna have lots of stuff because you need electronics and cables and instruments and stands and tools and a whole bunch of extra stuff that might just come in handy at some point. So things tend to get cluttered really quickly and I really like a kind of a minimal look and I just, I can't ever achieve it in the studio. So every once in a while, it starts to irk me a little bit and I have to move everything around. Recently, we got this shelving unit over on the side here and it's amazing, but all of a sudden this piano doesn't really make sense where it is because now it's sitting right in front of the shelving unit and it's hard to get at it so it looks like it's going to be another case of Donna has to move things around to try and feel comfortable and hope that it's not in the way of something else. And then we can get on with the day. That's a bit of a temporary solution. It doesn't really fix the problem, but time to move on. I feel way better now that it's a little bit more organized and a little bit cleaner in here. So now I can kind of get on with trying to fix this problem. The problem being that I have this keyboard and I don't know what to do with it because when it was on this side of the room, kind of got in the way of the functionality of that whole side of the room. But when I tried to put it on this side where the camera currently is, it is a big roadblock in the middle of the room and we lose all the like mobility in the room because you have to all of a sudden walk around this huge piano. Now, I have another keyboard sitting on my desk but that's just a MIDI controller. Essentially the difference between a MIDI controller and a digital piano or a keyboard is that a MIDI controller doesn't actually make any of the sounds itself. So you plug it into the computer and then the computer is the thing that makes the sound. So I need to have that hooked up, open up a session, name the session, save the session, make a new instrument track, put some kind of an instrument on that track and then I can play the sounds. And all I wanna be able to do is when somebody's in and we're trying to, let's say, figure out the key of the song, whip over to the keyboard, plunk out a couple of notes, be like, okay, we're in A minor, let's move on. You know, I don't wanna have to go through the whole setup. I just wanna really quickly plunk a couple of notes and be done with it. But I also don't wanna ruin the feel of the room. Anyone who's a creative that works with technology will kind of know this. The goal of really, really great technology is for it to be able to do all the things that you want it to do, but not get in the way of the creative process. Cameras are a great example of this because they have all this functionality now. We've got all these knobs and buttons and all these crazy things that you can do. Sometimes you just need to turn it on, hit the record button and go, or turn it on and point it and snap a couple of pictures because otherwise you might miss that moment. You might miss that inspiration or that creativity that's boiling up inside of you. Get that idea out of your head and record it so that it's in the state that you're imagining it, not so that it's in this broken down state and you'll figure out the rest later. So it's important that our technology, as beautiful as it is sometimes, gets out of the way. It doesn't stand as a roadblock on our way to being creative people. But anyway, that's where I'm at with the piano situation right now. I'll keep you posted on what I come to. For now, it's gonna hang out over in the corner there and if I wanna use it, I'm gonna to have to set it up. It is what it is for now. I've got my space back, I feel really good about that. It's time to bust out the old day planner and try and get that back up to speed because I'm finding myself a little bit overwhelmed with everything that's going on right now and the best way to hone that in is to get at least a general idea of what's going on in the kind of big picture. I'm not really into detailing every little bit or color coding or having tabs on binders and that kind of stuff. Like like I know some people are and that works for them. What I like to have is kind of a general organization of kind of a big picture and then I can take that in a step-by-step -step manner and that seems to work for me. I think the key is really finding what works for you and going forward with that. So let's get out the day planner.
I don't claim to be the most organized person. And like I said before, for me, it's not so much about all the tiny little details. It's more about getting a big picture and just kind of understanding mentally how I'm going to get there. So the way that I set up my day timer kind of reflects that. I love these moleskin day timers and I love this layout. On one side, it's got all of the days of the week. And then on the other side, it's got just blank lined paper. But I'll go through each day and I'll write anything important that's specific to that day. And then on the right hand side, I put just a to-do list and I gradually check things off and anything new that comes up gets added to that list. So what I just did is I went through all my emails and made sure that I knew what was coming up, who was waiting on stuff for me. And I wrote it all into my to-do list just to make sure that I'm on top of things and that everyone's gonna get stuff in the time that they wanna get it. This is just what works for me. It's not gonna be the same for everybody. Everybody needs a different level of organization. But writing this list out made me realize exactly how much stuff I actually have to do right now. So time to get some things done. Just finished a quick vocal session with Lot D and Conch. Today seems to be the day of organization, the theme of the vlog. First things first, let's get some sustenance. In the spirit of all things organizational, I'm gonna take a second and show you guys my cool little shelf cubby hole unit. What I've done back there to try and get things up off the floor and out of giant piles or bags. This shelf has been pretty awesome. Got some records going on here. Extra microphone shelf. Thumbs up, trying to remind me that I'm always doing a good job as long as I'm giving it everything I can. Some Harry Potter paraphernalia up on top. I love that Hagrid is like twice the size of the other guys. A couple of the doctors in here. The old sonic screwdriver. Some of the CDs that I've produced. My sunglasses collection. I personally really dig these. I'm not sure where they came from. This is a nebulizer. Long story short, it makes it smell nice in here. This is my nerdy stuff box. Got some Star Wars guys, Captain America in there, some Deadpool, some Walking Dead, there's Glenn, rest in peace. Got some tools. This box is a bit of a lie, because it's a box in a box and all it holds is my Soylent. You might even call it my lunch box. Little Buddha down here with some crystals and this fake plant, because plants can't live in a studio with no light. We got the old micro corg up on top. This guy's cool. It doesn't get used nearly enough, but it's a, it's a neat little unit. But yeah, this helped get everything up off the ground and sort some of the problem of having way too much stuff in the studio. So that's the new little shelving unit that we got in the studio to try and organize things. I'm liking it a lot so far. It's cool because it's kind of aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. That was kind of something that was important to us when we were deciding what to put on that big blank wall that we had going on there. We thought about throwing up like a logo decal or something like that, but considering how little space we have and how much stuff we have, it made way more sense to try and make use of that space instead of it just being purely aesthetic. It would have been pretty cool to have a giant logo up on that wall though. Maybe we'll try and incorporate that later. But anyway, all of this organization doesn't really do anything unless you actually follow through with it. So it's time for me to get to some of those things on my to-do list that I made earlier. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So that's it for today at work. I crushed through that to-do list. There's still some things left on there, but having it all laid out one thing after the other made a huge difference. I just looked at one, get it done. Looked at the next, get it done. And now most of them are done. It feels awesome. It feels so good to have a bunch of stuff done. So it's May long weekend. Apparently it's beautiful outside. I'm going to a staff party for Megan's work tonight. So I gotta get out of here. Let's go see how beautiful it is outside. It's actually so beautiful out right now. It's crazy. It's May long weekend, so people are partying and I'm gonna go party with some yogis. So I'll see you next time.